Greetings folks. I've had a few people ask me to do a comparison between the Sky Hunter Racing and the Skyhawk A-Tail. They do look very similar, but the Skyhawk is much, much bigger. Probably at least 30% bigger, I'd say. Uh, heavier. The good thing about the Sky Hunter is there's tons and tons of room inside the fuselage for um, extra FPV gear, flight control board, you can fit a flight control board in the Sky Hunter, but it's uh, it's a lot tighter. Uh, the Skyhawk is a lot tougher, uh, thicker spars, uh, just less flex than the uh, Sky Hunter Racing. The Sky Hunter Racing is meant for ripping around, sort of shooting gaps and uh, uh, obstacles and things like that. The Skyhawk, the Skyhawk is much better suited to medium range FPV cruising, I think. I'll just show you a few more mods that I've done to the Skyhawk. I really like the Skyhawk. It's just, uh, especially for the, the space inside. Uh, I've taken the twin motors off. The motors I put on were uh, high revving, uh, screaming little motors and put a single motor on the back with a big prop. This is a Sunny Sky 2212 980 KV motor and a big uh, nine inch prop. So of course that moved the CG back a fair bit. So I needed to use a bigger battery. Uh, gouged out a little space in the nose so the battery can go right forward. That's a 3004S now. So previously I was using a um, 3S 2200. Uh, and the weight of the original version with the twins and the 2200 was 710 grams. The weight now with the hulking big 3004S battery and the motor on the back, 10 grams less, 700 grams which is brilliant, I think. Now I've got way more battery capacity, more efficient, so it's going to have a, a way longer flight time, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go out and try it now on some FPV and uh, see how the slow revving big prop setup goes. Beautiful. Lots of wind, flying on 4 amps at the moment, less than half throttle, way more efficient, 4 amps easy, 3 amps, need to tone down the controls a bit maybe, oh no that's pretty good. Twitchy in the wind. Amps. That's cool. So previously it was flying on seven to eight amps on 3S. Now it's uh, 3 amps. under four amps on 4S with a 3,000 battery. So amps. decent flight time. Pretty wiggly. Keep it close so I can see it. Wiggly in the wind. Whoops. Turbulent spot over there. Horrible wind. So that's 4.4 amps, that's flying beautifully. Maximum. And we've got a rocket. 18 amps maximum, that's cool. <laughs> this is cool, I love it. Bit noisier with the single prop behind. All right, enough of that. So that's. I think it needs a bit more, even more. Oh, look at the wind there. No, we can't really assess the wiggliness in this wind. This is a winner. 
Might even be better with just a conventional tail too. I might even try that one day. Although the A-tail is good for mounting a camera up on the peak. Plenty of power, plenty of manoeuvrability, plenty of space inside. This is a, a good package. I like it. Look at that wind. <laughs> can handle the wind though because you can pump up the power. Sweet. Okay, so I really like this one. It's just the right size. It could do with some mods. Um, I think it'd be better with just a conventional uh, twin boom tail, better directional stability, and a bit more space under the canopy there. Uh, I could easily make up another canopy to give it more space, uh, just because there's no spare space there. And there's love the fact that there's tons of space in here you can easily put a flight control board in there which i will do i'll, I'll uh, put an inav board in there and see what we can come up with just a great all-round size performance adaptability very nice so that's the skyhawk mm -hmm.